And what we're going to do is I would like you to imagine, pretend if that works better for you, that you are an entertaining troupe and we are taking you down to a luxury resort down in the Caribbean where you get to perform later in the evening after you get down there, but the first thing that we do is we have to get you out. We take you out of the Denver International Airport and you are in a luxury charter flight. Go ahead and sit up straight. Go ahead and bu buckle your buckles. Go ahead and sit up straight. Go ahead and sit up straight. And put that safety belt across your middle if you would please. You're in the airplane. And we're getting ready to go ahead and fly down to the luxury resort. And you've got a steward who's kind of new to this. If you could help him out, would you point to the emergency exit to the front of the airplane? Point to the emergency exit to the front of the airplane, if you would, please. This is fantasy of both the mind and the body. So go ahead and point to the emergency air see exits at the front of the airplane, just like that. Just like that, very good. And of course, over both of the wings. Go ahead and point to the emergency exits over both of the wings. And then, of course, the one that everyone wants, the one that has to slide and back. Go ahead and point to the emergency exit and back. That's right. Very good. Thank you for helping him out. He's a little nervous. This is his first time, and it's a luxury flight. And we get what's called a rolling start. We're going to be able to take right off, which is something pilots love to do. And so we're being pushed out of the... Uh, pushed out of the, the kiosk where all the planes line up and you start to feel that thumpity 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 thump as we're going down the tarmac and you feel it push to your left, a gentle push to your left as we go around the corner to get ready, a gentle push to your left, that's right, we straighten back out and away we go. I'm sorry, my wife just gestured to me. Going down. Going down a little bit, thank you very much. Going down the runway, thumpy, 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 thump, and as we go, we start to pick up speed. We're going 90 knots, 105 knots. Front wheel starts to come up off the ground, 110 knots, 125 knots, and the rear wheels come off the tarmac, and you feel that little thump as the wheels come up into the plane. And, long, and there's that gentle right hand bank as we go off to the Caribbean, that gentle right hand bank, and we're flying along, there you go, we're flying along, and here comes, we're at 35,500 feet, here comes the, uh, the, 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 the cart for your snacks. Go ahead and put your hand out if you'd like to have a snack, go ahead and put your hand out, there you go, here's your snack. Go ahead and open up that package and there are only two pretzels and three peanuts in there. You were told this is a luxury flight. It's to get that steward's attention. That's right. And he says, I'm very, very sorry. The, the, the truck got here late. We didn't have time to refill everything. I only have a little bit of these, but go ahead and take a second one. Go ahead and take a second one. But of course, beverages also. You get beverages now. I know Chris is of age. If you're of age, you can have an adult beverage. If you're not of age, if you're not of age, and sleep, keep her more focused, relax. There you go. And so go ahead and open up your beverage and enjoy that. And psh, all over your face. Oh my goodness. Get that steward's attention. Get that steward's attention. He gives you, oh yeah, here's a warm washcloth. Go ahead and get cleaned up. Go ahead and get cleaned up. He is so sorry. So sorry. But it's going to get better because in front of you, you look in front of you, there are 3D goggles. Go ahead and put those 3D goggles on. Put those 3D goggles on and they are in three dimensions. You're going to see a little animated cartoon that is a lot of fun. It's about those, those two mice that pick on that poor stupid cat. Can you three people say stupid cat really loud? There you go, that's right. This poor stupid
stupid cat is out on the front lawn. He's just laying there, minding his own business, but we go ahead and pan inside the little mousy hole, and on three walls are all the diagrams of what they're going to do to this poor stupid cat. And they are going to be dropping things off the roof of the house and taking them all over the place. And it's going to be in 3D, so you're going to see things flying all over the place. And so we cut to the cat who's sleeping out in, in the yard, and you hear that little music, da 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 And it's just peaceful, but now this mouse is sneaking up behind, and he ties a big, thick rope to the cat's tail, and just as he's starting to sneak away, the cat wakes up and looks at his tail and sees this rope going off, and he's got the most confused look on his face, and we cut to the roof, Look at the roof up there, and there is the other mouse with a baby grand piano that they've put on the roof. And now here it comes, banging down. And the cat gets jerked off the grass through the mail slot, gets pulled to drop another piano in the house. There are keys from that piano flying everywhere. Look out, it's in 3D, it's coming right at you and he gets pulled up the chimney, out the other side, down the drain pipe, around the house, and kerplop on the teeter-tottering back. And he is covered with soot and grass, and there's a piano key stuck out of his ear. This poor stupid cat. And then we cut to the other edge of the roof and the mouse is there with that famous 10 ton at the anvil. And he pushes that off the, the roof and it comes down on the other end of the teeter-totter and flings the cat up into the air. Watch the cat go up into the air. Watch the cat go up into the air. Through the clouds, back down and on the other side is the big gray bulldog in the other yard and he's holding a, a fishing net and the cat comes down kerplunk in that fishing net and the cat looks at the dog and the dog looks at the cat and the cat looks at the dog and the dog smiles and looks at the cat and the cat holds up a sign saying and go ahead and give a big round of applause that's our opening warm up Give him a big round of applause. During the rest of the show, I want you to be just a little bit more active in your imagination. We can see your, your face change, but we want your body to react too. So go ahead and give us both theater of the mind and of the body. Well, we're going to go ahead and go ahead and take off your 3D goggles and stow them in front again. Stow your 3D goggles in front because we're not going to land at this luxury resort. And as you get off the plane, you are met by some of the most handsome or beautiful people you've ever seen. Ladies, these men don't work out. They simply swim and surf and work on the island all day, and they are buff. They are handsome. No disrespect to the talent in Kansas, but these men are better looking than any guy you've ever seen before. They are tan, they are blonde, they are brunette, they are black haired, and they are handsome. The women, oh, women, Curtis, you get a kiss on this cheek, and a kiss on this cheek, and you get a kiss on this cheek and that cheek because you've got twins, and you get a kiss on this cheek. That's right. And they welcome you to the island. They're looking forward to your stay. They are here to make sure that you are comfortable and accommodated in every way possible. And if there's anything for need, just let them know and they will take care of it. 
And as they take you to your room, my head and in your mind, enter your room. And did I say room? No, look at that. It is a sweet look at it from right to left. It is a luxury sweet, and it is beautiful. And they take us your suite, and they open up the fighting glass door, and there's the lagoon with 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 pale blue at the shoreline, and then deeper and deeper blue as it gets deeper and deeper into the water, and it is absolutely beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. And then they take you over to your bedroom and there are rose petals on the bed and your luggage is already there and open for you. And they say if there's anything that we can do for you, you just let us know. But what we like to do is to get ready to go down to the beach and then we're going to go ahead and, and, and just let you enjoy the beach. And if you want to go swimming, you'll be able to go swimming. But we'll see you later when you're down on the beach. And they leave, and you look around, start to unpack. But if you look over to your left, look over to your left, there is a walk-in closet. And in that walk-in closet is swimwear of every kind. Curtis, there are board shorts, there are speedos, there are man bonds, ladies, there are two piece and one piece. They're high cut, they're low cut, there are sarongs. And for all three of you, they are in any color you can imagine, floral print or any other kind of print. And reach out and touch one of the, those swimsuits because it is made out of a material that you can't even hardly imagine smoke mixed with silk. But if you stretch that material, go ahead and stretch that material, how much you stretch it, you can't see through it. There's no embarrassment in my shows. You can't see through that swimwear. Now, you could go ahead and wear what you brought with you, or you could wear this fully luxurious, swimwear that's provided for you. It's totally up to you, but let me ask, what kind of swimwear are you going to choose here today? A tankini. A tankini, and what color? Purple. Purple tankini. Curtis, what are you going to be wearing here today? Shorts. Yeah, dark pink. Dark pink shorts, very good. And Miss, what are you going to be wearing here? It's a yellow one-piece. Yellow one piece, very cool. And how style does it have straps? Is it bandeau? How is it stuck? Um, it has straps. Yeah, very cool. Give a big round of applause. If you would please go ahead and pantomime getting into your swimwear. Just go ahead and pantomime getting into your swimwear. That's right. And we go down and they have chaise lounges made out of bamboo that you can stretch out on. Go ahead and stretch out on your chaise lounge. Go ahead and stretch out. And you're underneath that umbrella and they bring you drinks and they ask you what you want. And if it's any kind of fruit juice at all, it is fresh. They raise their own coconuts, their own pineapples, their own bananas, their own strawberries right here on the island. If you want some kind of mixed drink, they can concoct anything that you want. What would you like to drink here today? Strawberry daiquiri. Strawberry daiquiri. Curtis, what are you going to have? Strawberry pineapple. Strawberry pineapple. And Miss, what are you going to have? Strawberry banana smoothie. Strawberry banana smoothie. And they bring that to you in a coconut. Yes, they bring it to you in a coconut. And your margarita has got the salt around the edge, and you've got that coconut meat in there. And they've got a little fork for you to dig around after you start to get down to the bottom of the drink. And just go ahead and sip that drink. Put that little umbrella behind your ear. Go ahead and put that little umbrella behind your ear. That's right. And go ahead and enjoy your drink because it is a hot, hot day. Hey, we have started.
Uh, just for everybody's announcement, we have heard the Calpine bingo out here. When we have a result, we'll go ahead and interrupt the show and give you that. But so back to the show here, you've got your beverage and you just hear the shoreline and that water washing out, whoosh, whoosh, whoosh. Whoosh, 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 whoosh. And you feel like you want to go swimming. Now, if you don't know how to swim, hypnosis, it doesn't matter. You know what it looks like to swim. You don't have to fear the water because you know I'm not going to let anything bad happen to you. So let's go ahead and go swimming. Go ahead and pantomime sitting in your chair that you're going swimming. And just enjoy that that warm, cool water all at the same time. It's so refreshing after the heat. And it just feels so good. And go ahead and dive underneath the water. Go ahead and dive underneath the water. That's right. Go ahead and swim for a little bit for air. Come up for air. That's right. And it just feels so good because that water is so buoyant. And you dive back down again and you notice off in the distance there's a school of little silvery fish. A school of little silvery fish and they're coming towards you but you gotta come up for air. You gotta come up for air, that's right, get some air. And then dive back down and you dive back into the middle of all those little silvery fish. And none of them touch you, not a single one of them touch you, even if you try to touch them, even if you try to grab them, they just stay away, but they swim all around you and come up for air, come up for air. That's right, you just dive back down again to play with the fish, but poof, they're all gone. They're all gone, you don't know. Go ahead, swim around in a circle, look for them, look for them. They're nowhere to be seen. It's the most amazing thing. Come up for air. Come up for air. And off in the distance, you see two dolphin fins. I promise you they're dolphins. Nothing to be afraid of. And so go ahead and it starts to swim towards the dolphins, and they start to swim towards you, and dive back underneath the water when they dive. And here comes one of the dolphins up, and he's coming right up on your butt, the other one, the other one's playing tag with you, playing tag with you, and the other one was just distracting you, come up for air, come up for air, and there the dolphins are in front of you, and they're laughing at you, <laughs> go ahead and splash those teasing dolphins, go ahead and splash those teasing dolphins, that's right, and, and they splash. A splash back. Can you admit such a thing? That's right. But now they come one on each side of you and offer your dorsal fin and they are willing to take you around on a tour of the lagoon and you get to have a tour and go around and when they die and when they come up for air you come up for air and they actually take you out to where the reef is, and they show you where the anemone are, mountain fish are, finding Nemo, and there's even a couple of sea turtles out there, and they show you where blue moray eel live, and they keep you far enough away so you're in no danger whatsoever. You are out there for 45 minutes just getting a tour of this wonderful, wonderful experience. And finally, they bring you back to the shoreline. They bring you back to the shoreline and kind of shrug out, out from underneath you. And you stand up in the water, just imagine that in your chair. And there they are, and they do that little tail dance where they're, they're, they're swimming backwards. And that's their way of saying goodbye. Wave goodbye to the dolphins. Wave goodbye to the dolphins. Give them a big round of applause. Swimming with the dolphins, that's right. How many people here like roller coasters? Put your hand if you like roller coasters. One yes, one no. Curtis, do you enjoy roller coasters? Okay. I'm going to do a skit just for you. 
you like to scream and yell on a roller coaster a little bit, you're going to have so much fun. You're going to scream and yell. Your other two friends here, they're going to wait to the side unless they decide to give it a try because after all, nothing bad is going to happen on this roller coaster at all. But I'm going to tell you, it is the world's tallest roller coaster. It is the world's tallest roller coaster. We're going to go on that a little bit. So you think about that. That's right, 2,500 feet in the air. Isn't that amazing? But first, something amazing is happening. First, touching on the shoulder right now. I want you to think about your favorite celebrity, actor, actor, singer, model. Who would you love to see here on the beach? Who would you love to see here on the beach? Go ahead and tell me. Reba. Reba McIntyre, is that right? How old is Reba now that she looks so good, doesn't she? One, two, three. Here she comes down the beach. Go ahead and stand up. Open your eyes. Open your eyes. Stand up. Come on up in front. Come on up in front. And look out here. There comes Reba. Go ahead and, and get her attention. Reba! <laughs> Reba! What is Reba wearing here on the beach? A weird swimsuit. Tell us about a weird swimsuit. It's like a tank top with shorts and a skirt thingy. And, and we're not going to tell her that, but it sounds like you don't really like it. I'm not a fan. Not a fan, but that's okay. It's Reba. She can wear whatever she wants to. Isn't that true? Yes. What is... I mean, have you seen her in concert? No. Have you seen her doing her TV show? Yes. Uh, let's see, has she ever done any movies? I'm not sure. Uh, the Christmas specials. Oh, various Christmas specials, that's right. Well, she comes over to you and she says, are you from that group from Kansas? <laughs> yep. Yeah? Very cool. And I want you to tell her about your favorite Reba moment. What, 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 is, what would you like Reba to know? Uh, the intro to the CMA Awards that she posted last year. It was funny, wasn't it? What was your favorite part of that fun? I don't know. It was also getting so many bad jokes. It's the bad jokes, right? She laughs. She says, when I read those, I couldn't believe it, but we got away with it. They were so corny, weren't they? Very. But that's what country's all about sometimes. That's right. Give her a big round of applause. Go ahead and open your eyes. Open your eyes. Come back and sit down. First time touching on the shoulder right now. Who's your favorite actor, actress, comedian, model that, that can come down the beach? Who do you want to see? Britney Spears. Britney Spears. Go ahead and open your eyes, Curtis. Stand up. Step forward a couple of steps. Very cool. One, two, three. Here. Brittany, right there. In fact, strike a pose. Strike a pose. <laughs> and you did. Here she comes, Miss Brittany Spears. And what do you want to say to Brittany? Hello. Hello. How are you doing? Good. We're looking for talent for videos. Would you be interested in being in one of my videos? Yes. Okay. What I'll do is, you're, you're part of the Kansas group, right? Yes. Okay. So I'll have my people get a hold of you, and, and we'll do a couple of uh, 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 film tests and see how you would work. But we're looking for that honest Midwestern look. I, I want to kind of change my, my style and my image a little bit. And you just might fit in very well. Would you like that? Yes. Very cool. Is there anything you want to say to Brittany at all? Any kind of compliments or things that you especially appreciate about the work she's done? No. Being with Brittany, what is she wearing? A lime green shirt with yellow shorts. 
Plain green shirt and yellow shorts. Very cool. Well, she needs to be going on. Go ahead and give Curtis a round of applause. Curtis, go ahead and sit back down. Who do you see coming down? Sophie Dossie. Sophie Dossie. Now, you need to tell me who Sophie is. She's a contortionist. She was on America's Got Talent, and she's a YouTuber. Really? And so, like, how many people does she have following her? Two million. That is awesome. So I should check out Sophie Dossie. Dossie, shouldn't I? Well, one, two, three, open your eyes. Go ahead and step forward. One, two, three, there's Sophie right there. Sophie, is that you? Yes, it is. Who are you? Mallory. Mallory? Now, you look like you could be a gymnast, are you? Um, close enough. Do you do dance? Yes. What kind of dance do you do? Hula hoop dance. Hula hoop dancing. I started out doing hula hoop dancing. Seriously? Seriously. How many hula hoops can you work right now? Ooh, like 10? Ten. 10, that's good. You spread them all out? That's great. Could, maybe tonight, could you do some hula hooping for us? You're kidding. No, that would be great. Of course. Okay, fantastic. Well, I need to be going, but we'll watch for you tonight and we'll have you do some hula hooping, okay? Okay. okay. And your first name was Mallory again? Yes. Very cool. Give Mallory a round of applause. She's going to be doing some hula hooping for us later on. <laughs> Go ahead, everybody, open your eyes, open your eyes, open your eyes. And sleep deeper, more focused, relax. All right, so here we go. I only have one person that loves roller coasters, but I'm going to go ahead and do the skit anyway. The other two people, I want you to watch the roller coaster go around and around. As, you, as, as the description goes along, I want you to. And Mallory, you are going to scream and yell in fun like you've never screamed and yelled before because this is the world's tallest roller coaster. Now, this is a skit that actually rips my throat so much I put it on an audio file. So you're going to hear a little bit difference in tone. But I'm still right up here on the stage with you. Ladies and gentlemen, the world's tallest roller coaster. Park I told you about earlier. That's right. You are going to ride the world's tallest roller coaster. It's called the Eighth Wonder of the World. That's right. It's my roller coaster, W-U-N-D-E-R. And we're going to go on that roller coaster. What makes this so special is it is the world's tallest roller coaster. A multi-millionaire went and built this. He wanted the world's tallest, most structurally sound roller coaster. It is 2,500 feet in the air at its tallest point. You're going to reach speeds of over 120 miles an hour. This is going to be the most awesome ride you've ever experienced. Let's go ahead and get in line. Those of you who want to be at the front, you're at the front. Those at the back, at the back. Those in the middle, it doesn't matter. It's your roller coaster ride. And for your friends who didn't want to go on the roller coaster ride, you just step across the other line and you go ahead and wait on the other side for your friends to come back. Oh gosh, I do hope your friends come back. That's right. And so now, go ahead, if you would, please bring your safety buckles down over you. Please get them secured safely in place. Go ahead and bring that over your shoulders and down and get them in there. Click Mallory, just like yourself that. buckle. That's right. And now they're going through the safety instructions, how you're not supposed to put your hands outside the car and all that kind of stuff. We know better. We're going to have fun. Our hands are going to go flying in the air. We're going to be screaming and yelling. It's going to be great. And so now here we go. The final safety checks are done. Everybody is secure. Your friends are over there waiting for you to come back. Go ahead and here we go. Click it out. Bumpity bumpity bump. And here we go. Click the click the click the click upwards and upwards. Yes, that's right. 2,500 feet in the air. This is the world's tallest roller coaster. This is the eighth. Wonder of the world, we're going up and up and up. That's right, Wonder, W-U-N-D-E-R. We are going up and up. This is 2,500 feet in the air. You are now at a 45 degree angle at your chairs.
stay in place at all times. Be safe at all times. We are going up 2,500 feet in the air. We're about 500 feet up the mountain. Go ahead, wave to your friends down there. Wave to your friends. There they are. Go ahead and wave back to your friends on the roller coaster. Go ahead and wave to your friends on the roller coaster. That's right. And here we go. Up, 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 up. We're now 1,500 feet, 1,750 feet. In fact, there are birds flying underneath you. That's how high we are. That's right. There are birds flying underneath you. And we're going up 2,000, 2,250, and we're getting near the top. We're getting near the top. Clickety, 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 click, and we're hanging, and we're hanging, and we're hanging, and down, no, 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 going down. Oh my goodness, there we go, there we go, down, and down, no, 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 that's right. Here we go back.
your Bronco riding name? Diamond. Diamond. And what is the name of this vicious horse you're going to be riding? Um, Rising Star. Rising Star. Very cool. Very cool. I'm going to go ahead and scoot behind Curtis here. What is your Bronco riding name? Sweet Pea. And Sweet Pea, what are you going to be riding here today? What's your horse's name? Medicine's Child. Medicine's Child. Very cool. What is your Bronc Buston name? Bronc Buster. Bronc Buster. And what is this vicious animal you're going to be riding today? Juicy. Juicy. Bronc Buster's riding juicy. Very cool. Tell you what, Curtis, I would like you to change places with, uh, oh, God, God, I forgot your busting name already. Sweet. Sweet. Go ahead and swap places with Sweet Pea. I'm going to need help with the audience. As you all know, the whole idea is to stay on your horse for eight seconds. I want you to count along with me. When they're riding 1,001, 1,002, 1,003, etc. Now, if they wipe out, they wipe out, and all they get is your applause, right? But I want you to help me keep time, so that's your job out there. gentlemen, here is our first rider. Your name again? Diamond. Diamond. And she is up? Rising Star. Rising Star. And she's out the gate counted. 1,001, 1,002, 1,003, 1,004. Oh, she wiped out. She wiped out. Oh, give her a round of applause. Give her a round of applause. Let the counts come out and they help her off. And they help her off. And go ahead and just stand right over here, Diamond. That is so sad. Oh, we were rooting. Give her another round of applause. We were rooting for We were rooting for her. Here we come. The gate opens. Out we go. 1,001. 1,002. 1,003. 1,004. 1,005. She can do it. 1,006. 1,000. Second. Well, here we are with our last contestant, Riding Juicy, Rock Buster Riding Juicy. Here we go, out the gate, 1,001, 1,002, 1,003, 1,004, 1,005, 1,006, 1,007, 1,008, go ahead and get off that horse. The judges say no ride. He was on a merry-go-round horse for eight seconds. And Mary, what? Why are you cheating like that? Because I felt like it. Because <laughs> you felt like it. Yes. These two women put their lives on the line, and you're here on a merry-go-round horse. Yep. And that's all you have to say. By applause, should we give him the belt anyway? Okay, by applause, you win the belt, and we have action. We have action. I just witnessed it myself. I just witnessed it myself. So go ahead and have a seat. When they announce what the numbers is, we'll announce it to you. But the bell has done its job. 
and is now proudly entering back into its cattle car. All right. Give them a big round of applause. Like the town knows what's going on. It's the most amazing thing. Go ahead and let me take that from you, Curtis. I appreciate that so much. Go ahead and move over from you, Curtis. That's fine. Go ahead and put this arm up, if you would, please. Go ahead and put this arm up. One, two, three. And down, deeper, more focused, relaxed. Go ahead and put this arm up, please. One, two, three, and whoosh, down deeper, and whoosh, down deeper. Give them a big round of applause. All right. In a moment, we're going to play some music that's going to have different dancing styles. Some of these dances you might know, in which case go ahead and enjoy doing the dance. If you don't know quite how to do the dance, don't worry about it. Just move along with the music and have fun. But there is a waltz in there. You're going to have to waltz with an imaginary partner because there's only three people up here. But we call this History of Music. And I want you to go ahead and just as fun as you can, go ahead and dance. Go ahead and sit up straight. Go ahead and sit up straight. Open your eyes. Open your eyes, go ahead and give yourself room out here. Go ahead and give yourself room out here. Stand up and move out, but give yourselves room. Stay at least three feet away from the edge of the stage. I don't want anybody getting hurt. And go ahead and enjoy the dancing. Here we go.
story with your hands, the swaying of the hips, the gentle shuffle of your feet, tell the story with your hands. Well, here's the thing. 
in front of you or underneath you are some binoculars. I want you to go ahead and reach down, reach down and grab these binoculars here. Let me hand them to you right there, right there, and right there. Go ahead and look into the audience. Go ahead and look into the audience. These are from NASA. They will show you if there's any aliens in the audience. See if there's any aliens in the audience. And if you spot an alien in the audience, go ahead and raise your hand. Go ahead and raise your hand if you see an alien in the audience. Mallory, what does your alien look like? Over there. What does he look like? He looks like my dad. Yeah, but how can you tell he's an alien? Because of these binoculars, they're they're like aliens. So your dad's an alien? <laughs> Who knew? What does your alien look like? I think I saw you raise your hand. What's your oh. No, that, see, that's the problem. You've got yours backwards. You've got yours backwards. Go ahead and turn around. Turn around. There you go. That'll help. What does your alien look like? Short and a dark pink color. Dark pink in color with it. And what? No pants. No pants. Alright. And does that disturb you at all or is it a big deal with, with that kind of alien? No, it's no big deal. No big deal, that's right. Now did you spot an alien once you went in and flipped that over? And that's fine, that's fine. But you see, here's the deal. You were invited down here not so much to entertain as you were to go ahead and let these aliens interact with regular human beings. They've already met with state officials, you know, the various people from the UN. They've met with the Pope. They've met with Trump. They've met with Putin. They've met with Merkel. But they wanted to meet real people. You are the real people from the Midwest of America. They're going to meet from North America. They're going to meet other people from South America, China, etc. But you are the real people that they can't see. So they're not here to do any harm except, uh oh, by the way, this is my favorite skit. I'm telling you right now, this is my favorite skit. On the count of three, something amazing is going to happen. One, two, three, boop, your belly button. Your belly button is gone. Check it out. Don't take my word for it. It is flat. It is flat down there. What is it like not having a belly button there, Mallory? No big deal. You can't see it anyway. Can't see it anyway. So it wasn't like to not have a belly button down there. Come on, no more food. No more food? What do you mean by that? Who likes to hide there? Oh, okay. oh, crumbs and stuff like that. Very cool. What's it like not to have a belly button down there? Sexy. Sexy. Being all smooth like that. Well, now, this might be the first time where nobody wants to have their belly button back. I don't know. Would you rather go through life without a belly button, or should we try to get those back for you? Go ahead and raise your hand if you'd like us to try to get your belly button back. Go ahead and raise your hand. Only one person wants to button back. I'll tell you what, I can't leave you like that. So here's what I want you to do. On the count of three, go ahead and yell out into the audience, those aliens, on the count of three, we want our belly buttons back. One, two, three. Boop. Check it out. It's not yours. It's not yours. It is wrong. It is different. What is wrong with your belly button there? It sticks out. It sticks out. What is wrong with your belly button? It's purple. It's purple. What is wrong with your belly button? It's furry. It's furry. A furry belly button, a purple one and one that sticks out. That is just wrong. I'll tell you what. I have here in my hand, and go ahead and open up your eyes, I have in here in my hand, 
the XB-3000 space modulator. And it will send these aliens back. If they don't give you back your belly buttons, we're going to send them back to their home, their home planet, country, territory, solar system, whatever it is. But I think I realized the mistake we made. You need to yell to them, I want my belly button back. Because that makes a big difference. It really does. One, two, three, yell it. Boop, check it out. It's there. It's yours. Give them a big round of applause. Give them a big round of applause. I need to check on the time here. Are we having turtle races or anything like that? No, we're not. Yes, All right. yes, we are. What? Yes, yes, we are. Oh, in the box. At 4.30. All right, I need to wrap this up. I need to wrap this up. Tell you what, we'll go ahead. I had about another 10 minutes to show, but we're going to go ahead and wrap it up. For right now, put your shoes down on the floor. Put your sandals, shoes down on the floor. And go ahead and leave your eyes open. And look at me. I want you to think of one thing that if you could do, feel, or believe this one little thing, not, I want to be a better person, that's way too much. But of all the things that if you began to do it, feel it, or believe it, your life would improve. Not as a compulsion. It doesn't get in the way of anything else. But when you have one little idea that feel it or believe it, my life would improve, smile and nod your head. Smile and nod your head when you have this one little thing. Okay, very cool. As I have you emerge, as I count from one to five, I want you to let that one little thing go deeper and deeper into your subconscious mind as you emerge more and more. Go ahead and stand up. Kind of spread so you got time to stretch. Time to stretch, room to stretch. One of those two. All right. So as I count from one to five, you're gonna fully emerge from hypnosis, but you cannot leave my stage unless you are fully emerged. That's my last suggestion I'm gonna give you. As far as I'm concerned, you can remember the entire show and the fun that you had here. I'm sorry we didn't get to have you pantomime doing, doing hula hoops. I apologize for that. I was looking forward to that. But I want to talk to you about it and how long you've been doing it because it does interest me. It really does. All right. So as I count from one to five, fully emerging from hypnosis, one, let that energy come up your body, come up through your, your feet, your legs, all the way up into your torso. Feel it coming up into your spine and just coming down through your arms and just stretch and up your head and feel your brain clear up as you re-enter your conscious waking state. Two, for the next couple of days, even longer if you like, the color red can be a gentle yet persistent reminder of your ability to stop, put that one little thing back into place. Three, even though we had just a few minutes doing hypnosis, you find that you feel wonderful. As far as I'm concerned, you can remember the entire show. That is my preference. If you want the mystery, whew, fine. You don't remember the show at all. But as far as I'm concerned, I'd prefer that you remember the show and the fun that you had, especially the roller coaster ride. Especially the roller coaster ride. And four, preparing to fully emerge at count of five, you'll have one more round of applause. One, two, three, four, five, fully emerge to one more round of applause. Feeling terrific. Thank you very much for coming out saying, are you fully emerged, sir? Go ahead and get back to work. All right. Are you doing good? Good. And Mallory? It was a joy having you on stage. It really was. Give them a big round of applause. My name is Edward Wonder, but on Facebook and YouTube, I go by That Hypnotist. This show will be announced on Facebook when I have it up on YouTube. So you can watch this. Their friends and relatives can watch it too. It's totally free. It's my gift to, to these guys and you for, for being here today. Thank you very much. We're going to get some turtle races going here. We're probably going to have to move some stuff around again. But thank you so much. I love the Ford uh, Fair. Here's the deal. If you are looking for a volunteer activity, the Ford County Fair Association is a group of people that are dynamic. 
and they, they, they just work with one another absolutely wonderful. I would encourage you, if you're looking for a way to get involved in your community, become part of this stair board. Everybody have a great rest of the afternoon and evening. My name's Edward Wonder. Thank you very much.